Hey everyone, welcome back to the third devlog for Velocity Noodles. Thank you to everyone that watched the previous ones. And for new viewers, Velocity Noodle is a fun, speedy, precision platformer where you teleport around and go really fast. Check it out on Steam if that interests you. At this point, the game is pretty much content complete, but there's a bunch of polish left. So for this episode, I want to take a stab at improving some of the visual effects for certain actions. So let's dive right in. First thing we want to improve is the death sequence. Currently it's very stale and it's pretty much just an instant restart with no flare. Adding some of this flare gives the player a second to breathe, but also helps transport their eyes instead of an instant camera jump, which can be jarring. The lore bible says when a delivery person purchases, he or she becomes one with the noodle singularity and reborn as another delivery person. Not really, but uh, let's start by adding some particles. Instead of doing real-time particles, I'll do a pre-baked animation since it's less expensive and quicker to implement. I use this great tool called Pixel FX Designer, uh, which you can pick up on itch.io. Basically, you change all these parameters to create a motion and then it exports it as a spreadsheet. It's a bit clunky, to be honest, but there are videos on the creators page you can check out. I usually use this for these type of animations instead of hand animating. It saves a lot of time and honestly, the results are smoother. Let's quickly put it in the game and trade out. Boom, already looks a lot better. It would be nicer though if we could also add an expansion, almost as if the particles go out and then get sucked in. Uh, you guys know I'm all about productivity, so instead of making a new animation, I'll just take half of the existing ones and reverse it. One final touch is to add some distortion. I add this circle object with a zoom shader. This object will then shrink and hopefully give the effect of sucking in the particles. I also add this empty frame of the character that slowly fades away. There we go. Uh, with the sound effect, it all feels great, looks great. Well, you failed the level, but the uh, failure feels great. At least. While we're talking about distortion, I always felt that teleportation is kind of hollow. Since it's the main gimmick of the game, the player is going to be doing this a lot. I quickly did this uh, lightning or energy thing. I'm thinking I can implement this as a trail from the player's start position to the teleportation end position. I use a sprite to do my hand-drawn pixel art and the tile mode is great to see how animations or even regular tiles fit when you match a bunch of them together. In the engine, we trigger a loop to create a trail. We do this by calculating the distance between the player's position and the teleportation point and then we divide this by the effects width. In my case, it's 32 pixels. In the same creation loop, we then angle the effect sprites and then displace their exposition according to how many sprites there are. And ta-da, we should have a trail. Some quick quotes to scale them individually based on their distance and also change their opacity and the trail effect should be done. To make it even more juicier, I reuse some of the effects from earlier and added the zoom filter and a single animation frame to the start position. This also helps the player's eye to travel with the effect to the new position. Added one final zoom filter to the teleportation box and we should be done for now. And I think we're done for this episode. This is of course a super small snippet of all the polish the game needs before release, but uh, a tip I have is to look at what the player is doing the most and then start with those. Productivity and time management is one of the most important things you can do as a solo indie developer. Uh, so make sure to focus on all the important stuff first. If you want to help me out, check out Velocity Noodle on Steam and wishlist it. It's free and it shows Steam that the game is worth spreading to other people. I'll leave a link down below in the description box. Stay safe and I'll see you next time.